Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends. Welcome to another tutorial of Test Rail Training. This is Manish and in this tutorial we will learn about users and roles in Test Rail Administration. So to get started go to the Administration section and click on Users and Roles. So now here you'll see the all the available users in the Test Rail instance. At the moment I have just one more user along with me and you'll see what email address is associated with that particular user and what was the last active status when did they log in what's the what's their status whether they are active or um, they are inactive you can uh, administer users from here itself you can activate or deactivate user directly from here then what are the roles available in uh, for that particular user and what's the role associated or assi assigned to that particular user um, you can edit the user uh, from um, the users tab as well so click on edit icon and you'll see what all um, uh, different options available for the user so you can edit the username um, you can edit the email address you can enable or disable email notification so if you want to enable notification then you can check that box you can select the language locale and time zone accordingly uh, and you can reset the password or set the password for the user uh, temporarily from here um, the other option is to change the access so at the moment the role for Mary is tester you can change the access here from here and uh, then you can assign or associate the user to a particular group then um, the other option available is you can make the user ad as an administrator or you can just leave uh, if, if that particular user is an administrator you can check that box to make him a, an administrator the other users and role option is to add the group so at the moment there are no groups so for example you want to you don't want to manage users individually having a group is very important concept here so you can create a group as say for example um, testers and then for that tester group um, you can you know like associate what users are uh, associated uh, with that group uh, add those users and then in the roles you can go and add the roles so if you want to add a particular role click on add role and you can give the name of the role so for example you want to add a new role as a BA click on um, uh, write the name as BA and then what all permissions you want to assign to that role so for example you want to add edit attachments uh, delete attachments and then cases and subsections uh, configs etc so you choose the, um, the the role the default options that you want to allocate to that role and then click on add role so that particular role new role will be added now if you go go back to the user section um, and I click on new user I'll say um, and then just provide some email okay and in the access you can choose the new role that you have assigned right. and if you want to associate or you want to move this user to a particular group so for example now we created testers so for a BA you can create create another group for the BA um, you can check that tick box and this user will be added to that particular group if you click on add user you'll see a new user being added with the role of BA so you'll see new user and the role is BA and current status is active so that is pretty much all about the users roles and group access in test rail hope you like the tutorial 
don't forget to subscribe to get more details and more tutorials like this. Thank you.